Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 2019 of What You Up To Now, documenting the journey. Originally, as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business, following my divorce in 2015, 2016, after divesting herself of all of our mutual assets and businesses, I decided I wanted to do something different. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Problems with live video. You can't avoid the, the stuff that happens. Unless you edit it all out, and I'm not going to do that. I can't see well enough to do that, so I'm not going to. And live video is very short-lived. It's a quick mode of communication. We're talking about modes of communication today for this year's annual Get Up and Go Challenge. This whole month, we're focusing on communication, and we're talking about the 12 different modes of communication. A couple I, I knew about and never heard categorized that way. Modes are just ways of categorizing information. And we all know the main ones, verbal, nonverbal, written, and uh, visual. Those are the four main modes of communication. But then there's other modes like mass communication, of course, which we're all familiar with, radio, TV, newspapers, social media, the Internet. Uh, but then there's synchronous and asynchronous. I'd never heard of those. And inter and intrapersonal. Intra is our self-talk. Inter is the, the communication we have with other people. Uh, synchronous means that we're simultaneously instantly communicating with another person. So if we're having a phone conversation or if we're in a face-to-face -face meeting or if we're on a Zoom call or if we are giving one another, we're, we're there with one another at the same time. Asynchronous or asynchronous, of course, means you put the message out there or you put the information out there and the other person you can get it whenever it's appropriate for them so email things like that and then there's formal and informal and meta communication which is actually communication about communication checking in to see how the communication is going uh non-verbally or verbally is an example of so paraphrasing is an example of meta communication you're checking in to see how the communica communication is going are they understanding what you're saying those flags you see on social media when you post something that's inappropriate or the the big brother doesn't like it those are examples of meta communication they're communication about the communication that people are or are not going to see so that was a fun and interesting topic today and we're just sharing what's our favorite way of communicating I, for example, shared that I don't like talking on the phone. I don't like text messaging because I don't see very well, so I make a lot of typos, and it's, it makes me embarrassed. And then on the phone, I don't like it because I only can hear someone, and they can be distracted and doing other things, just like you know when we're doing other things and we should be listening. Or if I'm talking to my sister on the phone and I'm, I'm playing with my granddaughters, I'm probably not 100% there with the conversation that's on the phone. So I don't like talking on the phone very much. I just never have been. A person that loves to talk on the phone and uh, then I also shared that I love writing and I love I love reading even if I can't see very well I still find ways to consume content by reading I listen to a lot more audiobooks these days but I love learning and getting more information so I don't see ever giving up reading and maybe someday I have to only listen to audible books but right now I can still do a little bit of both cheating and using my big screen TV and and blowing things up things like that uh, I used to read my Kindle on the giant letters, but that doesn't work anymore. I don't even know where my Kindle went. I do have one still somewhere, somewhere, heaven knows where. So we talked about modes of communication. We talked about our idiom today, which was to spread like wildfire. Fire. And I find it super interesting that human beings disseminate, and there's probably been a study done on this, but I didn't look it up, on how fast bad news travels versus how fast good news travels. And I think it's indicative of what we see in the in the news and on the newspaper it's what gets attention negative gets like 80 percent more attention or 90 percent more attention than positive why is that is that in our human nature that we focus on the negative gosh i hope not uh, i think it's a choice we get to choose whether we're going to focus on the negative or the positive and i like anybody else I, I swing to the negative sometimes but then i try to bring myself back to the positive as quickly as possible because we get what we focus on, we get what we think about, we get what we pay attention to. So I want to pay attention to the positive. Uh, that's all I've got today. Busy day, another busy day. Imagine that. Summer is so busy. It's my favorite season, so I like to be super busy in the summer and keep doing things that are move me toward my goals and objectives, which is what this year's challenge is all about. So that's it. That's all I've got today. I was going to talk about uh, gossip and news traveling fast, and I'm like, man, that's kind of a downer topic because we all know we shouldn't gossip, right? Uh, I think all of us probably have a story or two in our background and in our past where we 
we're saying something that we probably shouldn't we didn't have all the information but we were passing on information only to find out that it wasn't true or the person was standing right behind us or something like that there's so many stories and information and and examples of that uh, or saying the wrong thing that uh, things that have embarrassed us that we know we shouldn't gossip so I didn't feel the need to talk about it all right if I can help you anyway ask I've always have an awesome day like I plan to and I will of course be with you tomorrow